Hi, my name is Victor, and today I'm going to show you how to express a single logarithm as a sum or difference of logarithms. Okay? Now, to express a single logarithm as a sum or difference of logarithms, we have to determine whether we're going to be expressing the logarithm as a sum or as a difference. Okay? Now, the way that we determine that is by using two properties. Okay? The first property tells us that if I have a log a logarithm with base a for example and inside that logarithm we have a product of two numbers now when I say product I mean two numbers or two terms that are multiplying to each other we can rewrite that logarithm that single logarithm as a sum of logarithms so when we see two two terms that are multiplying to each other then just remember that multiplication relates with addition okay so I can rewrite this single logarithm as a sum of logarithms where we would have the two terms and two separate logs with the same base and we're adding those two logs okay so this is one property the other property tells us that if I have a logarithm with let's say base a and inside that logarithm we have a quotient of two numbers so in other words when I say quotient I mean a fraction and when you see fraction that means division so whenever you're dividing two numbers or two terms then you can express that single logarithm as a difference of logarithms, okay? So we would take the numerator, which is the m, put it in a logarithm, and subtract it by the logarithm of the denominator, okay? And both logs would have to have the same base, okay? So we notice that when we go from the single log of base a, we break it apart into two separate logs, and both logs have the same base a, okay? So let's go ahead and go over two brief examples. So let's say you had a problem that looked like this. You were asked to express this log base 5 of 25x as a sum or difference of logarithms. Now we have to determine whether we're going to be expressing this logarithm as a sum or as a difference. Now the way that we determine that is we look what's going on in the inside of the logarithm. If I look at the inside of the logarithm, I see that 25x represents 25 times x, right? When you see 25 next to the x or x next to the 25, that means that they're multiplying to each other. So that means that I'm going to be using this first property up here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and express this logarithm as a sum of logarithms, right? So we would take the first term, which would be our 25 in one logarithm and we would take the second term which would be our x in another logarithm and both logarithms would have to have the same base right base 5 okay now this right here we can simplify a little bit more the 25 I can say that if I have log base 5 can I say that 25 is also 5 squared right now the 5 squared, the exponent, there's a property in logarithms that tells me that if I have a logarithm with base a for example and in that logarithm I have a term or a number m that has an exponent you can take that exponent and write it to the front so I can say r log of a log base a of m okay so this 2 here I can go ahead and just rewrite it to the front of the logarithm. So I can say 2 log base 5 of 5 inside of the log. Okay. Now here we see that the base is 5 and inside of the log is also 5. So that means that the log and the 5 are going to cancel out. And we're going to be left with just the 2. So that's the that would be the left side simplified okay this would be the left side of the of the expression simplified so that turned into a 2 and we also had a plus so I'm gonna write down plus and on my right side of the expression we had this log base 5 of x so I'm gonna go ahead and write my log base 5 of x okay 
So that's expressing the single logarithm of log base 5 of 25x as a sum of logarithms, okay? Let's say, for example, you had an expression that looked like this, log base 3 of x over 9, right? Now here we know that since we have a quotient of two terms or of two numbers, then that tells us that we're going to be using this property here right where it shows us that we can represent the quotient of two numbers as a difference of logs okay so here since I'm dividing then division relates to subtraction so I can say that this would be a difference of logarithms where I would have the numerator in my left log minus log the same base and the denominator in the other log, right, on the right side. Now, can I say that log base 3 of 9 is also log base 3 of 3 squared? And knowing the property that we did above earlier, then I know that this exponent of 2, I can go ahead and bring it over to the front. So I can say minus 2 log base 3 of 3, right? And in this log here, on my left, we would just drop it down, just rewrite it, of x. Now we notice that this 3 and this 3 are the same, so this log is going to cancel out. So we're just left with log base 3 of x minus 2. And that is expressing this single logarithm of log base 3 of x over 9 as a difference of logarithms of log base 3 of x minus 2. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you express a single logarithm as a sum or difference of logarithms. Any questions or comments, leave them below and have a good day.